To date, a new medical study drew a link between testosterone supplements and heart attacks. Millions of men take testosterone, so we asked Dr. John LaPook to tell us more. An analysis by UCLA of insurance claims for more than 55,000 men looked at the rate of heart attacks within 90 days of starting testosterone. In men 65 and older, the risk more than doubled. In men younger than 65 with a history of heart disease, the risk almost tripled. Testosterone treatment is only FDA approved for conditions linked with so-called low T, documented low testosterone levels. But many men without low T are being treated for a variety of symptoms, such as fatigue and diminished libido. A study earlier this month found 43% of men receiving the hormone had a normal level. Cardiologist Dr. Steve Nissen of the Cleveland Clinic. We don't know very much about this therapy. What's going on is a giant experiment with American men's health at stake because we don't have the long-term data on the safety of these products. Annual prescriptions for testosterone more than doubled in just four years to 430 million, thanks in part to advertisements like this. I have low testosterone. There, I said it. Once it appears on television with seductive ads that make men think it's a fountain of youth, you're gonna see a lot of off-label usage. One possible way testosterone might be causing problems is by increasing clotting within arteries supplying the heart. The FDA told us right now heart attack is not on the warning label and that the agency is reviewing today's study. Dr. John LaPook, thank you very much.